Welcome. Welcome. I'm Goliath. I'm Kor. And I'm Krello. And this is Hex Center. Hex Center. Hex Center. Welcome back. You're probably wondering why are we having a Hex Center when there's no adventure taking place this week? Well, we just want to make sure you understand how very ridiculously high the stakes are as we fight against Kesukara here. It's true. Next week, we are going to be confronting Kesukara, potentially on his home base, and trying to face him for some of these atrocities he's performed against the Hexant. But we have not been fully honest with you, our audience. Uh, we... No, no, we just need, we need to talk about the elephant in the yes, room. Yes, we do. We okay. haven't been fully honest with you. Where is Heldora? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, we all saw last week that she was verifiably upset mm -hmm. when Moose perished. Yeah. And she, now she's gone missing. Well, and, it, and she had this horrible experience where Moose died once, came back, and then died, and then again. died again. She had to experience that twice. Yeah, you mm. think it's hard to lose mm. a loved one. Try losing them twice in the same day. That's yeah. rough. So she disappeared. We really don't know about what or Just why. No one's heard from her. Up and wandered off on a quest. Which is kind of like the first thing Guardians aren't supposed to do, but Haldora's always been a, a loose cannon. She's right. always been a wild one. Right, but like because of this confrontation that we have with Kesakara coming, we need the Guardians to be here. We need them to support everything. And mm -hmm. that's on that note, honestly, what we need to communicate to you, witnesses of Throsha, is things are bad. They've gotten bad. Sure, we've got the keys, but, but violence is increasing, rioting in the streets of every major population center. This, this is rough. Yeah, you've heard the story of Gornak's father taking out his tusks, and now Tick, Tick's experience of Delia's father dying at the hand of Kesukar and Reapers. And uh, it's sad to say that those stories are no longer exceptions. Those are very, very common. Mm. More magical creatures have been dying, like more magical races have been getting killed uh, just because of the hatred that Kesukar has had towards them. Uh, it's it's terrible. He's the worst. I mean, first he came for the magical races, and I said nothing because I'm an immortal being. Right. But it's important to keep in mind that this is why we've done this. Galivore and why we've been in the Hex has been to get these keys so that we would be powerful enough to go forward and face Kesukara on these points. And, man, have we had some adventures. Yeah, we've done it. We've gotten all five keys. We even got Malthior's key and nearly his blessing, but then... Arya showed up and ruined everything. But I mean, four and a half keys ain't bad, right? Four no. and a half keys is pretty good, if you ask Especially me. Especially when the half of a key is a trader's key, you know? Yeah. That's Who needs a, a full trader key? Yeah. Although, seriously, I still have worries uh, about Arya. So we need to talk to you a little bit about how these champions going into this finale have been chosen. There yeah. are a lot of elements that go into it. The voting of the Throshan populace, mm. uh, the witnesses that are here with us in the Hex as we meet, and the Guardians. Honestly, the Guardians themselves. They get to go through all of the champions that have been through all the planes, and they get to choose a champion of the champions. Mm. Ultimately, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I didn't no, make no, go ahead. See, the thing is, we want someone that the witnesses of Throsha can get behind, that their soul and their energy will support. But at the same time, it is a tactical decision, all right? Mm -hmm. We need to send the right people in to fight Kasukara, or we're, we're going to lose. And so the Guardians know their champions better than anyone else. It's true. They picked them intentionally. And on this table... Not accidentally. We have, and we actually haven't seen these yet, but we have each of the Guardians, the, the ultimate choice for who they've decided to go into this quest facing Kesukara. Uh, so before we go, go into that, we're going to go over some highlights for each of these. Uh, we're going to start with Clan Veneta, and so we're going to see some highlights for each of those champions. We are going to see some... <laughs> I, I say... Oh, come on. Uh, it's There's normal. normal. I, um, mm -hmm. Watch out for the lava, and I cast darkness in a 15-foot radius. I forgot he had the accent. Right did. there. That, uh, right there. All right. Um, yeah, to give us some cover, and um, before before it before it falls, I I say, by the gods, keep going, <laughs> <laughs> and um, give him bardic inspiration. One of the best stone statues that we've ever had. <laughs> you actually had to carry him in on the the second. Too soon, night. core. Too soon. He got better. Yeah, but still. Well, that's normal. A tiefling that we all love and adore. <laughs> Who was anything but normal in our hearts. It's mm. true. Because he was a tiefling, and who wants that? Cool. I love extraordinary. I don't feel so good. Tick, you There's tick. Tick. you, but you have got to rage. I can't. You're a goblin barbarian. Get angry. I You're angry. gonna die. I'm angry. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> 
That, that relationship between Gordak and Tick, man, they, they had something special. The, so Tick drove me crazy, refusing to rage all the time. What kind of barbarian is conservative with his use of rage? That's true. But right? Y- you did miss the portion, I think, where he did rage and then immediately cried afterward because of how... Oh, I didn't miss that. I was soul. there. Yeah. Remember, I tried to kill him by granting advantage to one of his foes. <gasps> That's right. The audience loved me for that one. He was so mad at me, he actually caught me up later, right before the show, and cut my hair. Well, let's, uh, let's abate uh, Krello's bloodlust with this next clip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are not members of the Cunning Dead. We're not Cunning Dead. There's Big John. But I am a member of Venida. <laughs> See my button? John. It truly I is. Got John. What? Shh. What? Shh. I don't. John. Is that something to keep a secret? Yes. <laughs> From I think they don't people. like it. They don't, I don't know if they like them or not. <laughs> They, Wait, what? You don't know if the gargoyles who guard Lady Venida's That's house true. like Venida. <laughs> <laughs> Big John with his uh, guileless personality, mm-hmm. always telling the truth. The even, voice of reason. Yeah, voice, voice of, of reason. reason. And honestly, uh, when something went incorrectly, he would fess up to it. He would it's say true. that it was, you know, he'd fix it. It's true. I and think I, he hid like twice. Very yeah, and I rogue. think that was really interesting for a rogue mm-hmm. to, to be so honest all the time. Right? Seems so, counterintuitive. Yeah. These are your choices so far. We're going to see the last option here for Venida. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Ramus. right in front of that guy, and I am going to cast Minor Illusion behind him, kind of where I see the thing in the wall. Uh, one of these um, uh, angel dudes going like <laughs> at him, and I'm going to go, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. In angelic armor and all, tongue protruding through the helmet. Yep. <laughs> and uh, that was after he, from his efforts, he got back a uh, moose from the ice. And then was champion. killed as a thank you. Yeah, he was killed at the end of that adventure. Terribly tragic. Well, these are our four champions that we're going to be looking into, and we're going to give the right, honor hand to, over to me. Krello to open this one. I'm in the Hex Master seat. Coincidence or foreshadowing? We'll between, between Normal, Tick, Big John, or Amos Ramus, the selected champion who will represent us in the final fight against Kesukara is... <gasps> Tick! It's Tick! Yes! Tick, I'm gonna say this because you need to hear it. You need to get mad. Tick, you have no friends. Nobody likes you. Not You're true. not doing well in that's life. Crello, Crello, Crello. This not is true. proof that we as summoners are impartial. He would have never picked Tick. You gotta I mean, get that's, angry, that's Tick. Fair. Tick, that's you gotta true. get that's Tick. True. You gotta get angry. Now, we're tick. gonna be talking a little bit about the Gar Champions of Talum. Those uh, woodsy individuals who have woodsy. helped us on the side. Almost all of them have yeah, been Yeah, that's true. They, they have a lot of leaves in their One of them actually decor. had a bird on his head. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we're going uh, to show Let's go to the first champions. clip. Clan Talon, 15 seconds on the clock. Raz, I'd like to apologize. Uh, don't say anything. I just, we only have 15 seconds, and I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'm proud of you, and I think you're a fantastic champion. I'm sorry I said those things. So zero advice. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> That sassy Brasleaf. Brasleaf using speak with animals to talk to a sentient kobold was truly, yeah. he pioneered a new technology and magic because we saw that trick repeated in later, in later quests. Probably so one of the coolest champions that we've ever had. Yeah, super chill. Definitely, super he seems chill. like your, your cool older brother, except I have no older brother because I'm as old as time itself. Well, I mean, he's so zen. We actually have monks, and I feel like he's been more zen than monks. Indeed. Uh, yeah. Let's go on to that next champion. I'm going to look right Winifred at that scary no, Poodle sprocket. Umbral King, and I'm going to say, you took someone very important from us today, and you're not going to win. We're never going to back down. So eat this, and then I'm going to cast Fireball at him with everything I have. <laughs> I mean, come on, anytime you cast Fireball, you're going to get play of the game. That's just kind of how it works. Well, she took out two enemy champions and did a ton of damage. In case you forgot, Tick was the Venator champion. Powerful, powerful wizard. 
Kind-hearted. Kind-hearted. Kind sweet. Hearted. Sweet, sweet to the core sweet. and just occasionally fires deadly mass weapons. Yeah. Well, they're capable champions. If they couldn't, why would they be here? Exactly. I mean, That's what I asked about Braz Leaf every day. That was a strange choice. Next champion. May I have Quill and maybe, maybe take a chatter at the bird and see if we can get a clue? Uh, there's Lunin. You are welcome to. Quill. Yes. She says she's dumbfounded. We'll have to try something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, okay. The part of the bird. <laughs> the usefulness of birds aside, he did talk to that bird. He just didn't happen to be very useful at the time. Yeah, Lunin was great. He he had a way with words. He was absolutely fluent in in poetry and song. Uh, he also was able to uh, just he he reasoned in a way that. Only a Talon could. Very well balanced and very open minded. And such honest tips. And that's what struck me about Talon, honestly, is their their champions have all just been sweet to the core. That's true. I mm. mean, they may have had the moral victory here. Who knows? Uh, our last champion. Layla, uh, I think you can kick anyone's butt, including your own. So, like, I'm not worried. As my dad always said, Layla. Wait. Go kick your own butt. <laughs> and uh, that was Layla, uh, the wonderful ranger who took a, did a lot of damage for a ranger. It was really, it was really refreshing to see a ranger really get get down and dirty, get in the mud with her opponents, and that's you know you don't always see rangers performing that well. Mm -hmm. And well, so, and sh she had a close call too. She also was taken down she got and was brought back by Moose. Mm -hmm. That's we, true. That's yeah. true. After the after the whole team tried to like revive her. Yeah. So we've shown you your, your options. We've shown you your champions for Talon. And I think the only thing left to do is to reveal to you the decided champion. All right, out of Brasleaf, Winifred, Lunan, and Leela Fairchild, we have Leela Fairchild! Wow. And that's it. A ranger is going to the finals. It's never happened in the history of anything that a ranger did well. But she's done well, for certain. Let's go put that to, up yeah, with the other ones. Yeah, there we go. Now, uh, Talon has done some important stuff. They've been the, the rock of our group very often. But Arya, I mean, Arya at the end of that uh, last game, the end of that last adventure, that was some really emotional stuff, some high stakes. Well, I, th I think there's been some pretty good highlights of Arya throughout the entire thing. Let's take a look at that first clip. Yeah. Nita, all right, that would take it to Drusillia. Hmm. I am going to <laughs> cradle Helmer's little body in my arms. <laughs> Drusillia. <laughs> and cast Misty Step and get us the heck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you transport another creature with Misty Step? I think can I, can I when you have love, you can <laughs> <laughs> Summoners, does the power of love grant Misty Step the ability to take a creature I, with her? I also have bardic inspiration. In the ancient tomes, there's an exception that says, if you truly love the target, <laughs> you can take them with you on a Misty Step. Thank you, Summoners. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't been able to find that tome since. It's in the it's in the uh, asterisk portion, right underneath Misty's step. You really have to look. Uh, close. Yeah, I guess you have to look. Hey, really Dior, have you never heard that really true love conquers close. all and uh, the rules? Is it it's written in the rules? Well, not written in look my, at how thick Crello's glasses are. That look guy could magnify onto an ant I guess with no true. effort. But that's, you know what? Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Drusilia. And yeah, geez. she was serious. She was down to They're business. They're getting married. She, she, she got. Engaged yeah, in the middle of the she, lo <laughs> she loved Homer. It was pretty awesome, hey, right? Where did you get engaged? Was it while fighting a boss? Didn't think so. Well, Drusilia did. I mean, the engagement story is going to beat anything, so we've got to get our other champions another shot. So let's get that next clip. Mm. Well, let's do it. <laughs> There's Delia. <laughs> 2 HP. <laughs> Two HP. 
Mm. Have you heard him speak? <laughs> Too often. <laughs> it's charming! I feel yeah. good about this exchange. <laughs> I'm glad you're on board. I really like you, actually. I'm sorry. She did not, in fact, sell Samwell Stupak. So, unfortunately. Truthfully, Ooh. I feel like there have been a lot of champions over the course of our battle against Kesakara where I'm like, this is not a competent person that we should be putting in harm's way. <clears throat> but if something had happened to Delia, I, my heart would have been broken. Because she clearly had no idea where she was or the gravity <laughs> of what she was doing. <laughs> all right, all right. In her defense, she did a ton of damage. Oh, she, oh, she needs no defense. She did fine with her father's so, ancestral well, sword. I was going to say, once, once we know right? her history, <clears throat> like you start to realize that that's why she was there. Her heart was just so big. She mm -hmm. loved her friends. So she pure. loved her father. She was so pure. Even though she is literally cold-blooded. Dragonborn. I sure. was going to say Partially. our only champion who's cold blooded, but I'm actually not sure about goblins. Partially. Or yeah. tief well, I guess tieflings. Tieflings are the are very opposite of cold blooded. This isn't biology Check class. Next champion. Can I what roll perception for swings? anything else that may be on the door that could help us? You're welcome to roll perception. But eggs can swing. All right. I'm mustering up all my investigative skills. Oh, oh, natural 20. Natural 20. Sister Posey. What can we say about Sister Posey? Her first name is Namory. I definitely misheard <laughs> that first name. Na but uh, Namory. she also, Namory. Yeah. she was a, a tutor yeah. to Sir Nock, was she not? She was. Sir Nock actually had a bit of nepotism in his hiring practices because he seemed to have a personal relationship with every single one of his champions. Well, maybe maybe Clan Arya is smaller than we like really give it credit. Well, they're a lot smaller now, am I right? Hey. Uh, yeah. uh, Arya. Uh. <laughs> Next <laughs> champion. This is I'm going to run up to it and poke it in the spot Zena. that makes it breathe. <laughs> Would you please <laughs> make your attack roll? It's a tickle. It's a two pocket where it breathes. <laughs> Very few people, very few, has gotten the Hexmaster to pull out his uh, flagon of ale. Like okay, that. Mm. here's the thing. I don't know if that clip did Zena justice. This is true. Zena, true. that was definitely a fun moment for her where she was, she was tickling a monster to force it to breathe fire on the ice. But uh, she has been a very intense, very militant presence. And I thought her standing down Arya, even after learning it was Malthior's deception that had deceived her, mm -hmm. she still said to Arya, to her face, you have lied to me. You were not there when That's I needed true. you. Zena, in a word, is relentless. And in a second word, is principled. Wow. Between Drusilia, Delia, Sister Posey, and Zena, who do we have coming back for the returning finale? Let's see. Representing Clan Arya in the final is Delia. Delia! Delia! Back in harm's yeah! way again. Poor little Delia, you're going to die. Let's hope not. She's got a lot to stand for and a lot to prove, and I'm excited to give her a, a chance to, to do just that. Good luck, Delia. I wish you the best. Our final bout of musical chairs brings us to the most intriguing clan, the most furious clan, Where one would argue. Canada? Oh, oh, wait. And right. the most curious, uh, given the circumstances of Heldora. But uh, Clan Krieg. Born Krieg, raised Krieg, Krieg, is Krieg. Am I right, my brother summoners? I think that we've learned a lot about all the different clans, but I think that we've learned a lot about Krieg's passion. We've learned about Krieg's power. We've learned about how they just go for things on impulse. Mm -hmm. uh, every single one of their champions has had uh, you know, a drive that has, has pushed them to the limit. Let's take a look and at that. And a food first. thing. Yeah, and a food and thing. And a food thing. Right? There's been a lot of food. Let's see that clip. You are aware that high level spells that you can potentially restore your friend, but there are rumors and stories of other means and other magical 
solutions mm. to curing people who have been petrified. Helmer goes up to one of the singing fish ladies and offers a treat to maybe <laughs> get them to help Helmer's stone friend. Maybe. Helmer keeps this one. Oh, keeps this one. <laughs> you offer the celery. Mm -hmm. Please make the check with disadvantage. <laughs> Heart of gold, but doesn't like celery. If only he'd offered the cookie thing. Could he probably would have rolled with advantage. Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. Now, Helmer, he seemed pretty distracted through that first plane. His, you know, because he had Del uh, Drusilia a right there. A tense relationship for like six, seven years that finally ended in a proposal. Thank goodness. And that's Ooh. the thing. Like I said, hey, who else can claim to have been engaged in the middle of combat? Well, Helmer. Helmer can also make he's, that claim. Yeah, that's he's, he's the Interesting only, fact, he's same the story. Other. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only other one. Uh, with that in mind, let's go into our next champion. Mm. Let's do it. Axes are better than arrows. Samuel Stupak. Natural twenty. <laughs> Give me your horse. <laughs> My goal specifically is to knock him off of his horse. <laughs> Samuel Stewpot. So, I don't know if we've ever told you this, but the summoners, we keep sort of a running superlatives about all the champions, most likely to succeed, most likely to be killed by a rule change. Uh, Samuel Stewpot got the coveted most likely to consume a sentient being while they are still alive award from yeah. the summoner's table, and he earned it. He did. I mean, we predicted that he would eat one of his party, and he ate himself. Yeah, and he ate his party. Yeah. Shadow member other that was himself and he said he was delicious now, and I venture to believe him. I would like to talk about his tactics. Now, he wanted to eat the unicorn mm -hmm. to begin with. He, he, want, he, went, he went and met the unicorn, wanted to eat it and had he done it, they wouldn't have fought the shadow man. That's true. He got he, more. He, he was he had the precognitive in that yeah. way, yeah. And Krieg initiative, Krieg impulse, man. It's it's crazy. You don't trust it when you first see it, but I've never seen it not work out. Mm. It's safe to say that for generations to come, people will seek out his cannibalistic wisdom. Well, and honestly, his stew, out of this world. Out of this world. Out of Some this of the best world. stew I've ever had. I'm going to get distracted if I keep thinking about that stew. So let's get on to our next <laughs> champion. Clan Krieg, 15 seconds on the clock. I'll kill Tusker. it. Yes. I'll kill it. I'll kill it. I'm gonna 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 kill it. And I'm I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. We're talking about impulse, and that was all pure impulse. He was like, probably kill it, and he did. Kriegiest of the Krieg champions. I think I think once he let his Krieg flag fly. The first, you know, the, the beginning of the journey, he was, you know, more reserved. But then I think... I remember that well, but then after, having been here. Yeah, but then I think he let it go. He let his Krieg release. Indeed. He is Krieg. He was. He, he, was, he was Krieg. Yeah, he, he painted was Krieg. really well. He added all those he, skulls to the painting. He, he painted Krieg. Let's, Let's jump into our next Krieg champion. Our last Amen. Krieg champion. You lean down and you tenderly kiss Layla. Moose. She does not stir. Or moose. Moose. Okay, okay. Move aside. Move aside. <laughs> this is how you kiss someone. And kiss, kiss. kiss. She did. They did. Mm -hmm. And she got a uh, Layla that was sitting right there at the time, back to life. I mean, she was zeroed. I think she'd lost two uh, death saves. She was yeah. real Let, close. I mean, we've already touched on Moose a little bit. We've talked about how she had already frozen in the river, got reanimated by the flame from, mm -hmm. uh, from Zena, yeah. and then she, she went in, and then she was finally beaten. Yeah, she, she was, was killed defeated. in the final conflict with Arya. Truly tragic. Honestly? About Moose, or Mooth, I can say, pretty good for a tiefling. Wow. That means something coming, coming from, from Crello. Crello. That does. So, Crello, we give you the honor of revealing to us who will be the Krieg champion. Between Helmer, Samuel Stupat, Tuska Grimfang, and Moose. All right. The next champion represent. Hold on. I'm getting a message spell. 
It's only 25 words, so the grammar is really, really bad. Makes sense. No, okay, I'm afraid we have some bad news. Uh, we still don't know where Haldora is, and therefore we don't know who is going to represent Clan Krieg. And frankly, if we can't find Haldora before we face Kesukara, we may not have someone representing Clan Krieg, and we will be doomed. Clans are nothing apart, uh, but together we have some hope. I, I need to know what you're writing on there. It is a question mark. Gah, I thought you were writing my name. <laughs> so, Can't unfortunately, we as summoners have failed to tell you the last champion, but if you tune in next week for this adventure, hopefully. you will find out, we'll find out, hopefully, as they enter... What are you about to say? Wait, wait. Oh, can I say it? No, we're oh, all no, going to say it. Okay, okay. Were you okay. say it I, thought, I thought you were. I'm, I was excited. You should. I'm you. really sorry about him. No, Pashi always Posh. gets to say he this. Get, I it's our excited. first chance to say it. I want to say it. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Everyone, sorry, sorry. everyone we'll take share. a breath. Okay. We'll share. We all get it. We all get it. Okay, ready? As we. As we. Enter the hex. Enter the hex. You did it slower. You did it slower. We it's wanted to go fault. faster. It's not my fault. <laughs>